AI is the future and it's not going anywhere. Companies like this are making $16,000 a month using AI to create their designs. And after a long awaited approval, Etsy now allows AI to be used throughout their entire website. Now I know a lot of artists are not gonna be happy with me. However, the world is changing. And if you don't adapt, then you're gonna fall drastically behind. Think about it, companies like Blackberry, they didn't wanna give up their keyboards. And where are they now? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through five steps to designing and selling AI art. And before we begin, I know many of you are gonna say, well, is the quality even good enough for wall art? Don't worry. In this video, I'm actually gonna cover this aspect and explain exactly how to make those images work. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. When searching on Etsy, this isn't anything new. AI art has been around for quite some time. However, just in the past couple of months, Etsy has now changed their stance on this, which is allowing companies like this to make upwards of $50,000 in just three months, or this one, bringing in around 37,000 in just four months. So let's start at the beginning. Step one is identify what designs actually sell. Now doing research with Everbee has shown me that a majority of these sales are for vintage and botanical designs. This means floral reigns king when it comes to this category. Whether it be wildflowers, a field, or a magical forest, this is what sells the most. Now what I love is I no longer have to dig for this information. A recent update allows me to just see all the information on each and every single listing. My main focus here is just on the views, the favorites, and the sales. For example, this one only has nine sales per month. And even though it has 5,000 favorites, obviously it's not flying off the shelf. So there's no need for me to waste my time with it. This leads us into step two determining if this category is oversaturated or not. Digging deeper into this, we have to check how many listings are live and what the competition looks like. Typing in floral canvas wall art, there are 37,000 listings, which obviously isn't bad. Adding botanical, there's about 20,000. Adding forest, about the same, 21,000. And if I type in magical forest, there are less than 1,000. So clearly this category has a lot of room for competition and growth. Now that we know that this is something that we can actually sell in, step three is price point. Going back to one of the best sellers, I noticed they have a ton of different options. And yes, these prints are big, but like I said earlier, I'm gonna show you how to make that AI image resolution work exactly for this. First, we need to make sure we can make money before wasting our time creating any designs. This company here states that they make the items themselves, which allows them to offer a lot more frame options. However, don't worry, this isn't a deal breaker. Most of the time, people just purchase black or walnut frames. And to be honest, a lot of people don't even purchase frames at all. They just buy the canvases by themselves. So let's check Printify to see how much profit we can make. There are a couple different options, but I'm going to choose this one. I know it looks more expensive when just looking at it, but actually when you dive into it, it's actually $10 cheaper for the larger sizes. It also sells the 20 by 30 in three different colors, white, black, and walnut. So checking the price, we can get this item with a black frame for $58.02 with Printify Premium. Shipping is only $13.89, making our total $71.91. Going back to the listing, they sell a 20 by 30 with ebony frame for $100.50. They also offer free shipping. Opening up the Everbee calculator, after Etsy fees, you would make $18.60 per sale. This is an 18.5% net margin. Now, this may not sound like much, but wait until I show you how easy it is to make these. You can make hundreds of these daily. And here's the big thing. You don't have to do anything because Printify handles it. They will create the item for you, package it, and ship it. And this is honestly why I'm pushing most of my stores now for POD, because if anybody understood the frustration you go through with physical products, it is so annoying at times. And POD with Printify just helps simplify everything. And you may say, well, the margins don't seem that great. But honestly, I spent over $120,000 on my warehouses. And that doesn't include how much money I spent on my employees. There are so many aspects that I would love to get into in a later video, but for right now, let's just 
continue with this one and let me show you how to make this wall art. So let's start creating the image with AI. Now this is where things get tricky. See, most people type basic prompts and to be honest, their pictures come out looking like crap. The more information you could put in AI, the more detailed that design will be. Obviously, that sounds self-explanatory, but a lot of people don't really understand it. For example, if I type create a landscape image of botanical floral design wall art, this is what I'll get. This looks horrible, and obviously it's not gonna sell. But if I take my time and put together something with a lot more thought, I get something like this. Clicking between the two, you can see it's a night and day difference. Now, before you pause this video and try to capture and write down what I wrote, just click the link in the description and I'll personally email you five floral AI prompts that you can use for free. You can just copy them and paste them right into any AI system and generate the image. However, I do want you to kind of make some changes here and there and make that design your own, using these prompts as your base. I plan to start sending weekly tips that will help you dominate Etsy. So make sure you check your spam folder to ensure that all this doesn't end up there. Okay, moving on, the question that's on everyone's mind, how do I resize this image? There's a few ways that you can go about doing this. You can use websites online to upconvert them, like these ones, or you can use Photoshop. You can also use Canva as well. They have an upscaler, but it lessens the quality. Also, most of the websites don't allow you to go over 4,000 pixels. And for this, we need 10,000. So that's more than double the amount. So I'm gonna jump on Photoshop for this. It costs me $10 a month, which is well worth it for designing. Now, you don't need to use Photoshop. You can try another program, but make sure you can upconvert this to 10,000 pixels without losing a mass amount of quality. Now, once everything loads, I'm gonna open up image size, type the size I want and the resolution. Then I'm gonna select Preserve Details 2.0. For this image, I'm gonna go with 6,000 by 10,000 with a 300 DPI. That's 10 times more than it currently was when I got it from ChatGPT. You have to keep in mind that we just went from 1,024 pixels to over 10,000 pixels. The loss is nothing compared to what would have happened with other programs and software. It's very minor, and honestly, nobody will really even notice this unless you're eye to eye with it. Now, before I continue, I'm just gonna take out this little signature really quick. I'm really not sure why ChatGPT does this every time I make a photo, but it's like they wanna make it look like art. So I'm just gonna select it, select generative fill, and you don't even need a prompt. I'm just gonna click it and it'll remake it for us. Now the last step is to upload this image and launch it. So I'm gonna open up Printify, upload the image, place it where I want, and then preview it. Now really quick, just to show you the size difference, here's the original image on top of the new artwork. Crazy, right? So once you're happy with everything, click Save Product. You're gonna fill out the title, the description, tag, price, and then publish it to your store. Now, if you really want to stand out from the crowd, I would suggest using different mockups. You want the consumer to envision this artwork in their home. So use mockups like this one in a living room, or this one in a bathroom, or even displaying it in a bedroom. You want to have this art in places that they may hang it. You want them to picture themselves hanging it within their home. And you don't want to use the same mock-up for every single listing. Switch it up here and there. Also, make sure the artwork you're adding goes along with the background. You don't want to add a bright floral design in a dark, modern office. It just really wouldn't look right. So keep that in mind. I hope that this video shed some light on how to make and launch products using AI. You don't only have to stick to wall art. You can use this for anything. Just make sure that you upconvert that image so that it fits and it has a high DPI in order to keep the resolution quality. Now, I actually plan to release another video soon showing the different AI systems and their capabilities. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Also, I just want to apologize to everybody that's been sending me emails. I'm extremely sorry that it's taking me longer to respond. I promise I will reply back to each and every single one of you. It, just may take me a little bit longer right now, and I'm so sorry for that. But I promise I will get back to you. 
And if you have any questions in the meantime, please make sure that you leave them below. You know I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.